Activity Summary. No significant change. Lava activity is confined to Halima Yuma from two vents on the north and northwest sides of the crater. As of 7 this morning, the growing crater lake was 169 meters, 554 feet deep. High SO2 emissions continued. Summit observations. Summit tilt meters continued to record steady deflationary tilt. Sulfur dioxide emission rates remain high, estimated at around 35,000 to 40,000 tons day as measured on Monday, December 21, and revised yesterday, December 23. Seismicity remained elevated but stable, with a few minor earthquakes and tremor fluctuations, related to the vigor of fissure fountaining. Halima Yuma Lava Lake Observations. Two vents continued erupting on the north and northwest walls of Halima Yuma. The west vent, which is located on the lowest down drop block within Halamamau Crater, was intermittently active. The north vent remains the most vigorous. The vents continued to feed lava into a rapidly enlarging lava lake, filling Halima Yuma Crater. As of 7 a.m. this morning, the lake was 169 meters, 554 feet, deep an increase of 12 meters, 39 feet, over the previous 24 hours. From an overflight yesterday morning, December 23, the approximate surface area was 25 hectares, 69 acres, and the lake shape was still roughly oval, with an east-west length of 715 meters, 780 yards, and a north-south width of 460 meters, 500 yards. An island of cooler, solidified lava within the lava lake has been getting smaller and drifting eastward in the lake. It appears to be about 150 meters in diameter and has slowed its eastward movement as it approached the north vent this morning. Hazard analysis. High levels of volcanic gas, rock falls, explosions, and volcanic glass particles are the primary hazards of concern regarding this new activity at K-plus Laya Summit. Large amounts of volcanic gas primarily water vapor, H2O, carbon dioxide, CO2, and sulfur dioxide, SO2 are continuously released during eruptions of K-plus Laya volcano. As SO2 is released from the summit during this new eruption, it will react in the atmosphere with oxygen, sunlight, moisture, and other gases and particles, and within hours to days, convert to fine particles. The particles scatter sunlight and cause the visible haze that has been observed downwind of K-plus Laya, known as bog, volcanic smog, during previous summit eruptions. Bog creates the potential for airborne health hazards to residents and visitors, damages agricultural crops and other plants, and affects livestock operations. Rock falls and minor explosions, such as the ones that occurred during the 2008-2018 lava lake eruption at K-plus Laya Summit, may occur suddenly and without warning. This underscores the extremely hazardous nature of K-plus Laya Caldera Rim surrounding Halima Yuma Crater, an area that has been closed to the public since late 2007. Pele's hair and other lightweight volcanic glass fragments from the lava fountains within HALEMAUMAU will fall downwind of the fissure vents and lava lake, dusting the ground within a few hundred meters yards of the vent. High winds may waft lighter particles to greater distances. Residents are urged to minimize exposure to these volcanic particles, which can cause skin and eye irritation, similar to volcanic ash. Thank you for watching us.